Welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Rudolph here is a 2013 Toyota Venza 2GR. Customer states check engine light. Let's check it out. <laughs> The two main codes we're going to look at are the P0012 and the P0015 because the vehicle runs runs really good and the check engine light went off by itself. I do know that the camshaft solenoids are common around this mileage. The solenoids will stick intermittently and cause a check engine light. These are our variable valve timing solenoids. There's two on the front. There's two on the back. Bank one on the Toyota is the back one which is to get to those you got to remove the intake and then before that you got to remove the wiper cowl and we'll pop these covers off these are 14 millimeters There's two plastic little nuts on the end here. We're going to disconnect our, our harness clips. Disconnect the wiper motor. On this one, there's wires coming out of the windshield, possibly a heater. Disconnect that. We'll remove the wiper assembly. It's three 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna remove this, these two 10 millimeter bolts. Two 10 millimeters uh, on each end. Next, we're going to remove these two nuts, and there's two on the passenger side. Next, we're going to work on disconnecting all the hoses and connectors from the intake these hoses here getting this air box out of the way these intake hose clamps are 10 millimeters We'll do the vacuum booster hose. It's got a clamp on the back side. Well, on both the throttle body, it's got four bolts. There's two 12 millimeter bolts on the back side of the intake. On the passenger side of the intake, I usually use a, a quarter inch 12 millimeter deep. Got it. So next we're gonna work on the bolt holding the intake onto the lower intake. There's uh, two 10 millimeter nuts on the end and four uh, five millimeter Allen heads in the middle. All right, we should be able to pull the intake. We'll stuff some rags down into the intake ports. We're gonna move this uh, harness bracket to 10 millimeter and we'll undo it from this bracket as well. 
these are the two solenoids we've been working to get to. We'll go ahead and disconnect those. The solenoids are held in with uh, a 10 millimeter bolt. To get the back one, uh, a quarter inch shallow and extension works really well. All right, got our new one. Uh, put a little bit of oil on the O-ring and the bracket that the bolt goes in will be flush to the valve cover. We'll go ahead and plug both of those back in. Put our bracket bolt back on. So we got everything buttoned up. Um, I leave this bracket loose. Um, makes it easier to, to line that back up when we're going back on with the manifold. But um, you can replace the intake manifold gaskets if you want to. I don't, I don't tend to have an issue with that, so I, I don't replace them. When installing the upper intake, I'll start with the bolt on the passenger side and I'll leave it loose. It helps to line up the other side with the bracket. So I've got my back bracket bolt started. I like to start them first, but then I'll come up here and I'll tighten down the uh, intake manifold bolts first. Tighten up the our back bracket bolts. Next, we're going to plug in the connector and then we'll reattach the vacuum lines. Next, we're going to install the throttle body. There is a gasket between the intake and the throttle body. While it's apart, we'll go ahead and clean the throttle body. Next, we're going to install the intake tube and the air filter box, and we'll uh, attach the vacuum lines and the mass airflow sensor. Install lower wiper tray. Plug in the windshield. Install wiper assembly. This part slides into a notch in the lower tray. When you put it back in and be careful of the windshield, you can easily chip the windshield. Attach and plug in the wiper harness. Install wiper cowl. Install wiper arms. Thank you. 
So I've got everything back together. Now we're gonna do the, the front two solenoids. We're gonna undo the connectors. So I'm gonna undo this bracket. Those two are 10 millimeters. We'll go ahead and undo these injectors. We'll undo the camshaft position sensor. This ground strap's a 10 millimeter. We'll disconnect the ignition coils. These front ones always seem to break. Remove harness bolt, it's a 10 millimeter. Bolt is a 10 millimeter. Got a new one, put our new one back in. Now our other solenoid. Slide your new solenoid back in. We'll plug in all connectors. Install harness bolts. These tabs are common about breaking. I usually just put a, a little dab of silicone in there. Install engine cover. Last thing to do is to change the oil. All right, well, that wraps up another one. The solenoids, we replaced all four of them. We didn't have to. Since bank one is on the back side, I, I would at least do the back two because the front are a lot easier to do. Just for security, we went ahead and replaced all of them. It takes about three hours to do, um, and the parts cost about 400 If you, So if you like what you saw today, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, nasty.